obviously we, we've talked about how you know your recruiting process and, and you making the decision to come to K-State. You enrolled last spring, last January, and, and probably knew or had a good idea that, that Will Howard was going to be the starter going into the 2023 season. What was your mentality last off season, you know, going through spring ball, winter workouts, into the summer and into fall camp? Initially, it was come here, you know, get stronger, put on weight, uh, the physical part of it, and then mentally grow, um, learn about coverages, the offense, um, defenses, stuff like that, and just how maybe a defensive mind operates, how an offensive mind operates, and just be a sponge to Will as much as possible because um, I knew he's been successful in this league for um, quite some time. Um, it was just asking him whatever questions I might want to know, and Will did a really good job of breaking things down to me um, in a way that I understood, in a way that I could pick up. And then at that point, it was just competing every day at practice, um, Will pushing me to get better, me pushing Will to get better, and then ultimately just just being there if the, if the team needed me in, in whatever way that they might need me as the season kind of rolled along. That's great, and I think a lot was made of the dynamic between you and Will and, and your relationship. I mean, it seemed like, you know, one of you, was, whichever one of you was on the field, the other one was always right there to greet the, the other guy when he came off the field. What was your relationship like with Will, both on and off the field? It's just kind of how our culture here is, is at K-State. Um, you can go other places and say one guy might get the nod one week, the other guy's not going to be coaching him up on the sideline. Like whenever I had my big game against Texas Tech, Will's coaching me up on the sideline. He's asking if I need anything. Do I need to, does he need to look for anything for me? And, and just things like that, that a veteran, you especially wouldn't get from a veteran quarterback from a freshman coming in. I don't really think people understand the, the type of, like how good of a guy he was and how his character was just always on display. And um, you can definitely tell in the locker room, like the whole locker room had his respect. And I noticed that from the day I came in. And it's just by the way, um, he went about things and how he carried himself. Obviously, you know, you come in and, and I think from, from all account, by all accounts, you had a great off season and, and, and going into the season, despite knowing that Will was the guy, fans were still excited to see Avery Johnson. And, and we got to see quite a bit of you in the home opener last, last fall. How did it feel to, to get your first collegiate snaps under your belt and to score your first touchdown in the home opener? It, it was a great experience, and I feel like it was it was really surreal because when I run out on the field, some people had already left. It wasn't a full stadium like whenever uh, we kicked off, but the crowd just erupted. Kind of had like sent chills through my spine, and I was like, "Wow, like this is for real." Everything I had worked for, um, everything I had came about, everything that I had dreamed of was just like it was right here. It was a run play. It was my first play, and then when I had got that first completion under my belt. Um, and then we were driving down the field a little bit, and I, I connect with Trey Spivey. And then I, I finished that drive off um, at the quarter. I ended up finished the drive off at the under end with just a, a touchdown run. And it was weird because how the play was set up, I got a pool read, but they added another blitzer off the edge. And it was just, um, at that point, just kind of dancing, making a guy miss, and then just walking in the end zone. So I wish I could experience that moment again because it was just such a surreal moment. But credit to, to Will because he helped me get prepared for that moment and, and the coaches and everybody because um, they had a lot of trust in me and then knew I was going to be ready when my number was called. I think all of us remember that moment well um, because it was an exciting, you know, it was an exciting moment for K-State fans. I think it was a culmination of, you know, the recruiting process into that moment. How I think fans, you know, in the sample size that we got with you last fall, were always incredibly impressed, and I and I can say the same for myself with just your your poise in any given situation. And I think your first drive really embodies that. You know, you, you come in to a to an erupted crowd, you drive the team down the field, you make some great throws, you make some good runs, and then on the touchdown, you know, you you you've got an edge defender who's right there to make a play on you and you're patient, you make him miss, and then you go score. And I think we saw that throughout the year, you know, at Mizzou in a in a tough environment. Obviously at Texas Tech and so many other times. What do you attribute your your poise that that quiet confidence about you, where does that come from? It's really just like kind of what I touched on earlier. Like my dad has pushed this confidence thing in me since I've been a little kid. And he's like always told me like, you're the best quarterback to ever play this game. And that's the way you have to think when, whenever you do play football, because if I don't think I'm the best and I don't think that I can go out and, and do whatever or make whatever play is, is put in front of me, then ultimately I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm, I'm not believing in myself. I've always prided myself on just being emotionally mature and being able to go out there and, and not let the outside noise get to me. And I've never really cared what other people have thought of me. Um, I not let all the, all the other stuff get to me and just go out there and play football because it's, it's a faster game. Guys are bigger, faster, stronger. 
but it's the game I've been playing since I was in first grade. So you go through the season and obviously, you know, most of the year you served as the backup. We got to see you score five touchdowns against Texas Tech. Uh, you threw your first touchdown against TCU. A lot of big moments with Avery Johnson in 2023. And then after the season, Will Howard enters the portal and, and you become the guy. You become the face of the program going into the bull, you know, into bull prep. What was it like to transition from the guy who was, you know, still serving in a backup role to I'm the guy now. I'm, I'm leading this football team. I'm leading this office. What was that transition like? And, and then secondly, how did your mentality shift going into bull prep, knowing that, that I'm leading this football team? It was different at first because you lose guys in the locker room like, it wasn't just Will who we had lost. Like, we had lost to Kobe Savage. Um, we had lost a lot of guys that were in those big leadership roles. So, first off, we just had shoes to fill. Um, we had to bring the locker room together, get our chemistry together, and, and know that um, we can make it happen with everybody we still have in this locker room. And I feel like once we got that kind of instilled in everybody's brains, um, at that point, it was just preparing. Um, it was just another week. We had an extended preparation time. But as far as I attacked the week, um, it wasn't any different than I had attacked the weeks before because I just knew that, you know, I didn't play three weeks prior to the um, bowl game, but if, if I was to get thrown in the game, I would want to be able to put my best foot forward. So um, it didn't matter if I was the starter or the backup going into the week. I wanted to prepare like the starter because if my, my number was to be called, I wanted my guys to be able to trust me and, and me be able to give uh, my all for them. Flashback a year from now, you're an 18-year-old kid or maybe even 17 Fresh out of high school, you're coming in and, and it's a new environment and, and, you know, there's a lot of unknowns. Fast, fast forward to right now, um, you know, you've, you've, had a, you've had a year under your belt. You've worked with Coach True for a year. You've been in the program for a year. How different does it feel now to, to enter this next year, uh, your sophomore year, knowing that you are the guy? It's completely different because when I came in, I was looking up to older guys and I was... Um, you know, trying to still trying to find the reins and, and seeing, you know, how do we do this? How do we do that? Now there's guys with eyes, their eyes on me. And how do I be a leader um, on and off the field? And how do I bring the best out of everybody else around me and hold myself accountable and hold everybody else around me accountable? Because ultimately, um, when September rolls around, when that time rolls around, we want to be ready. Um, and everything that we do now in the spring or in the winter, in the spring, um, in the fall, that's going to win us football games um, whenever, whenever the season rolls around. So we just have to keep preparing, keep training, um, and, and just not lose focus because it's, one, it's a one-week season and just take it one week at a time.